Linda Ronstadt is one of the greatest singers of all time, with a career spanning many decades and music genres. Her work includes music in rock, country, opera, easy listening standards, and Latin. She has won 11 Grammy Awards, three American Music Awards, two Academy of Country Music Awards, an Emmy Award, and an ALMA Award. Despite all this, the singer's personal life has always eluded the tabloids and few people know that the singer was one of the most enviable brides behind the scenes. At the same time, none of her boyfriends never managed to go with her to the wedding. Why this happened you will find out right now revealing for yourself untold sex life of Linda Ronstadt. Welcome to the magazine channel. If you want to know everything about the celebrities of the past, then subscribe. Linda Ronstadt dances to the beat of her own drum. That's why she never walked down the aisle with any of her former loves. The iconic singer's dating history includes famous men like Aaron Neville, George Lucas, and Jim Carrey, but she never got to the point where she was ready to get married to any of them. According to Ronstadt, she simply has no talent for marriage, not one bit. At the time she was rising in the ranks as a music performer, Linda was in many high-profile romances. The Blue Bayou songstress dated John Boylan, a record producer and songwriter, in the early 70s. Linda dated the Grammy winner in 1970, and they were pretty serious. Not only did the two live together for some time, but John also worked as Linda's manager. However, she told Rolling Stone in 2019 that it fell apart after they moved into the same place. I wanted someone who knew what I was trying to do and would do what I wanted, she said. Following her split with John, Linda found love with J.D. Souther in 1972. The couple moved in together and dated for two years. During that time, they worked on countless songs, including Faithless Love. They eventually called it quits in 1974, but remained on good terms. Not long after she broke up with J.D. Souther in 1974, Linda was romantically linked to the Defending Your Life actor Albert Brooks that same year. They ended up splitting less than two years later in 1976. I was not a musician and she was not into what I did, but she thought I was cute, Albert has said. The Don't Know Much singer was in a relationship with Jerry Brown, whom she first met in 1971, during the late 1970s. In her 2013 memoir Simple Dreams, Linda said the former pair had a lot of fun together for a number of years. Even though she said it was relief dating a man like Jerry, who was an American politician and former governor of California, Linda knew it wasn't going to work out. Neither of us ever suffered under the delusion that we would like to share each other's lives, she wrote. I would have found his life too restrictive, and he would have found mine entirely chaotic. Eventually, we went our separate ways and embraced things that resonated with us as different individuals. We have always remained on excellent terms. Following her split with Jerry, Linda moved on with Bill Murray. The Emmy Award recipient and the Groundhog Day alum were rumored to have dated in the early 1980s. Then Linda Ronstadt dated a young Jim Carrey in 1983 after meeting him at one of his performances at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. She was looking for someone to open for her on tour, which Carrie did not want to do, though he did say he would go out with her if she wanted, and she did. The two dated for about eight months, with Carrie later saying she was an absolutely incredible human being. She is an incredible human being. After ending her relationship with Jim, Linda had a relationship with director George Lucas. Linda Ronstadt started dating famed director George Lucas in 1983 after the two met backstage at one of her concerts. However, they were both very private and made sure to never be photographed together. It was rumored, however, that Ronstadt would carry an Empire Strikes Back lunchbox around Los Angeles as a playful nod to her boyfriend at the time. Ronstadt even used the recording studios at Skywalker Ranch for her 1987 album, Canciones de Mi Padre. They got engaged at one point, though it was not to last. In 1988, the pair ended their romance after five years. It didn't work out with George, but Linda gave Love another shot with Aaron Neville in 1989. The music icon and the R&B and soul vocalist recorded a handful of duets together throughout their relationship, including Don't Know Much, When Something Is Wrong With My Baby and more. According to reports, they were even dubbed the first couple of pop music. However, Linda and Aaron ended their romance in 1992. 
Even though she never exchanged vows with her past loves, Linda didn't let that stop her from becoming the loving mom of her two kids. The When Will I Be Loved singer adopted her eldest daughter, Mary, in December 1990, followed by the adoption of her son, Carlos, in 1994. Now that she's a single lady in her 70s, Linda focuses her time on her beloved children and career. Despite her longtime battle with progressive supernuclear palsy, the Grammy Award winner said music will always be essential in her life, 